Hello students, uh, you should have just watched the video for basic math practice with physics word problems. This is some extra practice going through some more problems. We're going to go through them quickly, do less of the explanation. The in-depth explanation is in the other video. So, we're just going to jump right in. These are simple problems. Again, this is to practice more of the logic and the how-to. So, if a sledgehammer with a mass of 10 kilograms is given an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared, how much force is delivered with the blow? All right, step one and two. So step one is write down the numbers. Easy. A sledgehammer with mass of 10 kilograms. We give it an acceleration of two meters per second squared. How much force is delivered with the blow? Okay, there's step one. I wrote down the numbers. Step two, identify the numbers. So I need to know what these are. Now remember, this is going to be multiple choice. It's something on this formula chart. Now, this is an easy problem, so it gives me clues. Sledgehammer with a mass of 10 kilograms. Mass. Now, not all problems are going to have these keywords. It's given an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. But sometimes they will. What will never lie to us is the units. Kilograms, if we remember that, kilograms always measure mass. Meters per second squared always measures acceleration. So as we get more familiar, we'll start to memorize those just because we'll do them so much. But if there's a keyword there, that makes it a lot easier. Step three. Step three is just asking us, what do they want? So here, it asks us how much force is delivered with the blow. Our question is force. Step four, we're going to pick out a formula. Now, when we're picking out a formula, it has to have force in it and mass and acceleration. So force equals mass and acceleration. See all three words are there. F equals ma. I'm just going to write down the abbreviations. F for force, m for mass, a for acceleration. Step five. Step five is done already. This is a simple problem. Step five is rearranging the formula. This formula does not need to be rearranged. So I go to step six, plug in the numbers. All I'm doing is taking this formula and writing again, but anytime I can, I'm going to put a number in where the variable is. So F, that's force, Force, I don't know what force is yet. M, mass, mass is 10. Times A, A is 2. 10 times 2 is 20. The um, units of force is newtons. Okay, number 3. If a light bulb does 60 joules of work in a time of one second, how much power does it use? So step one, write down my numbers. 60 joules, one second. I'm going to identify those. 60 joules of work. Time of one second. Step three, what are they looking for? How much power does it use? Step four, pick out a formula. If I look for a formula that has power, work, and time in it, I find it right there. Power equals work over time. So power equals work over time. Power equals work of 60 divided by a time of 1. 60 divided by 1 is 60. And I know that my units of power are watts. You can look that up. Four, if a block of ice has a mass of two, cal two kilograms and occupies a volume of two liters, what is the density of the block of ice? Step one, write down the numbers. Two kilograms, two liters. Two kilograms, two liters. I'm going to identify these, a mass of two kilograms. Kilogram is measured as mass. A volume of two liters. Liters measures volume. Step three, what are they looking for? What is the density? A formula that has density, mass, and volume in it. It's the first one on my chart. Density, mass, and volume. 
So D equals M over V. Density equals mass divided by volume. D equals my mass is 2 divided by volume. My volume is 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. 1 kilogram per liter. Number five, what is the velocity of a wave that has a frequency of four hertz and a wavelength of five meters? Step one, write down my numbers. Four hertz, five meters. Step two, identify frequency of four hertz. Hertz measures frequency. And a wavelength of five meters. Meters can measure distance or wavelength. Wavelength is a type of distance, it's the length of the wave. So there's still a type of distance here. Um, step three, what am I looking for? The velocity of a wave. So I'm looking for an equation for velocity, frequency, and wavelength. If I look up and down my formula chart, I will eventually see velocity of a wave equals frequency times wavelength. We use this funny little symbol here for wavelength. This is called lambda. It's a Greek letter. So V equals F lambda. So my velocity is what I'm looking for. F for frequency, that's 4. Lambda for wavelength, that's 5. Velocity equals 4 times 5. That is 20. I happen to know my units are meters per second. What is the current through a wire that has a resistance of 2 ohms and a voltage of 4 volts? Resistance of 2 ohms. So 2 ohms, 4 volts, uh, resistance of 2 ohms, voltage of 4 volts. What is the current? Step four, my formula. So I'm looking for a formula with current. Current equals voltage over resistance. So, and if I even see here in the formula chart, it tells you right over here, my current's actually abbreviated with an I. And it's confusing, I know. C is already used. Um, so I equals V over R. Okay, my I, that's current. I don't know what that is. V is voltage, that's four. R is resistance, that's 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2 amps. I don't expect you in these questions to know the units here. I'm telling you those. But what you need to know is this idea of going from step 1 to step 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. Starting with the question, ending with the answer. But the path of how we got there, that's what we're practicing in this video.